in this video I'm going to be making an example of how to turn a sculptural architectural thing like a schematic of this like this uh, of uh, David Omomoto's uh, work into a an architectural floor plan and sections that's viable for something to be built in the real world so do credit to him and his work. So here is an example of a scaled orthographic drawing of this particular stru uh, uh, structure or um, sculpture that he made. So uh, everything is scaled here in proportion. So right now I'm determining the uh, dimension of the base. So this particular design is uh, lifted up from the ground. And from a previous video on how to formulate staircases or staircase volumes, I'm uh, using the um, very um, basic number of steps and just a plain diagram for, for the meantime or design for the staircase. So I'm drawing this freehand in, in scale and or proportion. And um, like I know the measurements. Uh, of course, if you're doing this on paper, you could use a scale ruler to check on dimensions or scale. But um, by doing so, okay, so freehand, but scale at the same time, you are not constricted to making things perfect, but uh, you're doing things very loosely so right now i'm trying now i'm jumping into sections so i'm using this uh, right side elevation as see-through so just imagine that you're just placing a tracing paper of some sorts or a translucent paper over a base drawing and you're sketching in scale and right now i'm i'm making a, uh, a section showing the staircase volume so I have a pretty much good idea where levels are. Okay, here is that um, replicated um, model that I made in preparation for this. And uh, just for, for, for um, visualization so that I could roughly see where things are exactly. So now I'm on my second level or second floor level. And I'm going to be making this into a livable space. So I'm just trying to decide. So you can switch and raise um, certain elements or areas or what you what you want to to kind of to see if it's a good scheme or not. Like for example, I changed my mind about that staircase going down to the balcony because it's about one meter down and it means about three to four steps down. And right now, I decided, you know, where the kitchen, dining, and living rooms are, and even the bedroom. So, and and then I go go jump back to the section, and now I'm thinking, hey, there's a space that I could use on the upper upper part of the structure, and uh, it's ample good enough. So I lowered it a bit in some parts of that to accommodate that. So that you get you have a higher ceiling on the third level. So that's a balustrade, and that's a that's the staircase going up to the third level. And the headroom, I could just test it by just doing these diagrams. And and here I'm doing the schematic um, of the third level. So I I decided you know uh, one part of it is going to be an open courtyard. And the third floor could become a studio of some sorts for working. It's always good to sometimes separate work from the bedroom. Here, um, I'm just doing some um, initial ideas. Might be a uh, possible skylights of some sorts so that I get I get natural lighting inside. So. Um, by doing this, you know, jumping into um, the floor plan and then going to the section and going back and forth, 
and uh, really makes you visualize oh, what's what's going on. So this entire thing uh, took me roughly about 45 minutes in total. And um, you can do this very anywhere. Well, we could use this with, um, right now I'm, I'm using a um, an iPad Pro with using Procreate as my base. I didn't want to use straight lines and I just wanted to uh, go straightly into freehand but scaled at the same time, proportion uh, rather. And um, right here it, it says that, you know, I could easily erase and or uh, just switch to another way of thinking. Now you could, you could also do this by going into isometric uh, views if, if you want to. One thing to keep in mind is that you should be sketching in scale when you're doing this so that it becomes a very useful set of drawings for, to, for you to be guided into a more formal drafted set for this. Hopefully this helps you out. Thank you for watching.